Let's talk about splitting DMX. If you're new to DMX lighting, you may think to yourself, okay, I get the basic concept here for wiring. Come out of your console, into your first light, into your second light, out of that into your third, and so on and so forth. But if you get into more complicated systems, and I know a lot of you guys are, you're going to find that that becomes a bit simplistic. There's going to be times where you're going to want to come out of your console and go to different directions. So how do you do that? Hi, I'm David Henry from LearnStageLighting.com. And if you're enjoying this video and it's something that sounds like it's going to be helpful to you, hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you get the latest videos from us here at Learn Stage Lighting. Now, let's talk about DMX splitting. DMX is a digital signal. It's actually kind of similar to the network that comes into your computer. And because of that, we can't use a Y cable. It's not going to work and it's going to cause some pretty big problems. In fact, it's significantly worse to use a Y cable than to just, you know, run back and forth um, across your stage a bunch of times in order. So the question remains then, how do you split DMX? What you're going to need is a DMX splitter. Now, these are just a simple device. This one is the D-Split by Entech. It's, one of, it's my favorite low-cost splitter because it's a nice solid build box, uh, inputs your DMX via 5-pin, outputs two 3-pins and two 5-pins, and then you're good to go. It works on a variety of shows, and I've had this one for a few years. It's a solid piece of gear, and I've had a lot of other people use them too. Using a DMX splitter is really simple. You can insert a splitter like this anywhere in your DMX chain that you want. You can hit a couple fixtures first, you can come straight out of your console and use the splitter, or even at the end of one long line of fixtures, as long as the data's still good there, you can go ahead and split for more lights. Uh, one of the things actually that a lot of you guys probably have heard about is what we call the 32 fixture rule. This is something that's baked into the DMX specification that says, hey, after 32 fixtures in a daisy chain, you've got to split or restart it. And the reason why is because splitting actually not only splits the signal, it also amplifies it. And after around 32 fixtures, you run out of signal strength. Now, that 32 number is very, very um, iffy, per se. Sometimes, you get fixtures that kind of suck more DMX power, as I like to call it. I'm not an electrical engineer, but my practical knowledge and what I've seen from my students is that uh, sometimes it's less than 32, sometimes it's more. It's best to keep your fixtures, you know, your, your daisy chains down to about 16, and then you know you'll be good pretty much all the time. We already talked about what not to do in splitting, and that is to use a Y cable. But... I want to harp on here just a couple quick other tips because one of the things that people will ask me from time to time is, okay, David, I've got a light that has 3-pin DMX in and out and 5-pin DMX in and out. So could I go in the 3-pin and then go out both the 3 and 5? And while this seems like a good idea, and sure, at one point in my DMX experience early on, I thought that makes sense, right? It's good to do. This is not okay. In fact, it's actually the same as using a Y cable. We've got to remember and know that with DMX, the lights themselves really just pass the signal through. They don't amplify it, they don't regenerate it or anything like that. The advantage of this is that even if the light is off, DMX still passes through, which can be quite handy if something goes wrong or you just have a light unplugged for a given show. But the downside is you can't use that to split or combine a DMX or anything like that. It's the same as using a Y cable. Another issue that I see people running into with splitters a lot, and it's one that uh, this NTEC gets around, thankfully, is you'll often have a splitter that might have four outputs. There's a very popular, popular unit that, that does this. And each of the four outputs has a 3-pin and a 5-pin DMX jack to it. That's how they're labeled. Output 1, 2, 3, 4, and then the jacks are 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 5. 
what a lot of people do is they see that and they say, oh, I can go ahead, I can come out this first three pin and the five pin. But if the outputs, if it's labeled as one output, that's effectively a Y cable as well, and that's a big no-go. Okay, so that's the basics of splitting DMX. Um, DMX splitting is a really great way to save on your wiring and keep things simple. Now, if you are going to use RDM, this is the last question that I get a lot, If which is a ability to hear back from your fixtures to your console to get information back on um, sensor levels, on lamp hours, on uh, and the ability to change menu settings such as the fixtures mode or perhaps um, some other calibrations. And RDM is great. Only a few consoles support it, but just know that if you are using RDM, and I've got a video about it right about here, um, there, that that goes into depth about how to use it, what to do, um, and if you are using it, just know that your splitter needs to be RDM compatible, so it passes that information back through it. And it, the more inexpensive splitters, like the Entech D split here, and pretty much any splitter that you're going to see for under $400 or so, are not going to support RDM. Okay, you got to step up to the next level, get something a little more expensive, but if that matters to you, you certainly want to make the right purchase the first time. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, give it a big thumbs up below, subscribe, and also, uh, if you want to help out the show even more, there's two ways you can do it. One, you can join us like on Patreon, like Taz, Christian, and Craig have done. Then, if you want to step it up a notch, get it, get access to a library of training videos plus personalized help from me in our forums, check out Learn Stage Lighting Labs. Links about all of these are below, and I will see you guys in our next video. Have a great day.